please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, and your subscribe, subscribe, and hit it. Face TV. Swoobie. Hi, everybody watching. This is your girl, Lawati Flyer, saying a very good day to you, each and every one of you watching this program. And I say thank you for staying tuned to our channel, which is Face TV Africa, for looking at our videos, watching our videos here in Nigeria and in Diaspora. I want to say we love you and really appreciate your time. So, yeah, today on the gist with Lawati Flyer is something very, very a bit deviating from our normal way. You know, before we used to have this gist, celebrity gist, socialite gist and all, but today we'll be doing a bit of the formal discussion, that is the health issue, that is your general part of the body. But today we are not going to be talking about the general part here, we're going to be streamlining our discussion to a part of the body, which is our dental region. Yes, that's dental cavities. We're going to be talking about the caries in your dental region, that is hole in the teeth. What the layman will call akokoro in holes in the teeth. That's going to be our today's discussion. Yes, and I will be telling our viewers how to manage the hole in the teeth and the pain that comes with it. I know so many people might be like, why are you telling us we can always go to the dentist? These are little, little things you can do at home that will save you cost to an extent. I'm not saying all these things after doing all these things. You don't need to see the dental specialist. No, you have to go see the dentist. But what I'm trying to tell you today is you can have ways to do these things and manage them at home. So yeah, number one, number one is going to be avoid sugary things. I know so many people might be like, oh, we know all these things already. Why, baby girl, why are you telling us about sugary things? No, it's not just about pie, what we call jedi jedi. No, it's, it's far beyond that. We talk about sugary things. Some people, <laughs> they can take Pepsi three in a day. As they are trekking from one place to another, they don't even need to trek. Going from one place to another, there's a, there's a movement. Yes, they are taking Pepsi. They are gulping it down the throat. One is gone. Another person will take it again. You know, that same person, you take another bottle. So people will take one bottle of Pepsi, like they can take it twice. Like take the bottle once, twice, and they are done with that plastic. And before you know what is going on again, they take it again. I am not just saying it's being relegated to Pepsi. No, I'm talking about carbonated drinks, especially. For your health, it is bad for you to be taking it what? You take carbonated drinks every day. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a bad thing that should be done to you. As a human being, you should try to avoid what? Sugary things. Aside carbonated drinks, avoid, once you know you have hole in the teeth, avoid things like chocolates, like cakes, like sweets, like biscuits. You know, all these very sugary things, all these things that have sh too, many, too much of sugar in it, rather. So people take, so people, can eat, they can eat a whole bowl. They can take it. They'll take a whole bowl of cake. Take a whole plate of cake. Take a whole bowl of ice cream. You understand? They can take bars of chocolates. And in my head, I'm like, guy, for your teeth, you're not even scared. So try to avoid sugary things, like I said earlier. Number two, we'll be what? Brushing in the morning and brushing at night. I know people might be like, why are you brushing? Is it not for your mouth not to smell? No. The enzymes are more active at night. I'm not saying they are not active during the day. No, they are. But what I'm trying to say is for you to be able to curtail this pain, because what, for people that have tooth pain, what do you think is at night around 11, 12, sometimes 1 a.m., you just wake up from where you're sleeping. This pain that comes with it, and it's so painful that you cannot chew, you cannot drink anything, you cannot even do anything with that region of your mouth. Why? That's to tell you that the enzymes, they are what? They are more active late at night. Why do you think when you go to buy body cream, you advise to use it at night for your skin to glow and all? It's because at that time, there's no sun radiation, nothing. The enzymes, they do what? They work faster at that period of the day. So why do you think when you have a hole in your teeth, or in your tooth rather, you, you are always having it most times, the sharp pain at night. You can't sleep. It's because the enzymes are do what? They are what? They, they are very much active at night. So that's aside, then you need to brush your teeth. Some people, 12 a.m., they're still swallowing a bar. 12 a.m., some people, still, they are still taking coke, still gulping coke. Some people, 12 a.m., some people still go to the fridge. Ah, ah, 
I want to eat something with a veggie and call it being pam you. It being pam you. Check this out. It's ring to one fridge. They'll carry cake. It might be cake. It might be sweet. It might be something. Some people even buy sweets in the house. It's as bad as that. They say, ah, when they want to read at night so that they'll be able to do what? They'll be able to use it to read. And I'm like, why are you deceiving? What happened to fruits? Even if you want to take something at night. You go, you go, some people go there, they'll pick up chocolates, they'll pick up sweets. Some people even have plastic in their house, like a small bowl. Hey, they will put sweets inside and they'll put biscuits. They say, ah, or maybe for their children, they'll be like, ah, being poor mommy, just because I eat biscuits, you must not Ah, ah, you're doing more harm to that child or yourself. So, for you to do what, you need to brush in the morning and you have to brush when? At night, every day. Do those things and when you want to brush, don't use the hard brush. Neither you use the soft one, use the medium. The texture is not that soft, it's not that hard. Use the medium kind of brush then, you use it to brush. Then I would recommend toothpaste like Oral-B, Pepsodent, you, you know, and Double Arbor. These are toothpaste that normally they fight what? They fight against germs. When you use this kind of toothpaste, you see that you will see, you will see, you will see results. You brush in, in the morning rather, you brush at morning, you brush at night, you use medium kind of the texture kind of toothpaste. Then you see, you see effects. By then the pain will do what? Will be reduced gradually. Then another good thing, the third way to manage it is what? You goggle in the morning with water and salt. Not just any other water, warm water. Get warm water in a bowl, put a little a pinch of salt, you get, then you put it in your mouth, you goggle it for like goggle for you can goggle for like 10 seconds. For some of us that don't know the meaning of goggle, go, 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 go. Okay. you spit out. Allow these reactions to work on that hole for like probably 20 seconds. Then you take your toothbrush, then the paste, you do what? You go brush. Young people, it's not, it's not restricted to like a certain age. Like maybe baby cannot have this one. Maybe as being a baby, uh, my child is still young for cavities in the teeth. Who told you that? A child can have it. A middle age can have it. An old person can have it. So when you know you have all these things, you do what? You try as much as possible to go through these three ways that like I mentioned. One, avoid sugary things. Two, brush in the morning, brush at night. Three, you do what? You goggle with water. Warm water and salt every day. You'll be able to manage it. You see little children, some little children, instead of the parents to buy them probably fruits or something, you see them, they'll take them to buy biscuits. You see a child of maybe two years, string gum as if, like a 30 year old girl self, you cannot even chew gum as good as they are. You see them, I'm like, at what age? You are exposing this child to so many things. Even you as an adult, you need to be very careful with things what you take in. And you know the truth is, I know so many people, let me, let me, let me just say something. A dentist once said something, said, do you know toothache can lead to what? Brain disorder and it can lead to paralysis. I know some people might be like, ha ha, sister, how? Yes. Now let me give you the insinuation. When you have your pain, when you have tooth pain, toothache rather, it comes where? It comes directly from the brain because the brain is the center that gives you reaction. Do you understand? Before you feel, okay, if you see fire now, okay, the brain will send, okay, this is fire and it sends the meaning immediately. There's a sensors around your mandula oblongata, your reasoning point, the cerebrum sends a signal immediately to your adrenaline. And your adrenaline what tells you, run so when you have to ache it says the brain where it goes to your cerebrum again when it gets to your cerebrum when the brain uh, the brain cannot it can react so fast it goes down to your spine your spine and anything that affects your spine trust me huh, you can be paralyzed so people will be like eh, eh, how will you to what is this lady saying to take you can go see a dentist to confirm what i'm saying if you don't treat it fast, if you don't go to the dental clinic fast enough to know that, ah, I need to treat these things, or you do the ones, the little things you can do at home, then you, you, you're, you're, calling, you're calling on something 
quite painful for yourself and on your health. Go to general hospitals, there are dental clinics there. Even when you go to general hospitals, they even give you toothpaste like Colgate. They give you Colgate, they give you Pepsodent, they give you a abuse. Sometimes when you go there and you, they, you see a, dent, a dental um, expert and he's telling you that, ah, madam, the money you're going to pay, will be so, it will be what? It will be slashed. I'm not saying you can't go to a private hospital, no. You can go to a private dental clinic, yeah. But for those of you that cannot do what, you cannot pay for the private dental clinic. Go to the general hospital. It's open. 24 hours they run the clinic. You can always go there, complain. Pick a card, complain. My, my, I have toothache. Some people will go, they will go and buy all this powder they sell on commercial buses. 100 naira. They'll tell you, pour it inside water. You do this one, you do that one. Do you know where these things are done? Do you know if they are government approved? Do you know if these things are even, they are, they are good for your health? So somebody will just come to the bus and where you're trying to go and somebody say, ha, erakini yo, like most especially for those who are traveling, for those of us that understand your erakini, brother me, on she chef for if for, on she chef for yin, on she chef for yin, on she chef, and I'm like, but well, on she chef, and you see some people, so she said, I don't know me. I've even seen one, one time I was traveling one time from, I think, Ibadan, yeah, to Lagos, and the man was like, Sherry, eh, the buffet, she okay, let me say it in English. If you want to do what? If you want to make your teeth whole, you know, the hole in your teeth go down, let it disappear. That's the word he used. He said the hole will disappear. And I'm like, disappear how? He said you only need to do what? Pour the powder in pap, ogi, and be taking it in the morning and night, and the hole will just disappear. Disappear with a question mark. How? This powder, okay, now this powder has some kind of magical powers that it will just come into your mouth, boom, and it will just make the hole disappear, yeah? Does it? How? And you know the funny thing is, people were actually buying it. How much was it selling it? 100 naira. Hey, 100 naira. You never can tell the hazard of this on your health. Why not go see a dental expert? Go see a dentist. Let him work on the caries in your mouth. Your little baby is complaining at home, mommy, my, my mouth is paining me. I'm like, ah, no. Ah, don't worry. Eh, use this one. Use that one. Use this one. Use that one. Use what? Use what? You don't even know all these things. You're buying. Uh, eh, somebody asked me to buy this thing at this shop. I bought it. It worked for his daughter. Did, and and you, you are buying it. You don't even know the, 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 the effects on your health and of, on that of your child. That is, this is rather unfair and it's rather unfortunate. That many Nigerians, what, they fall into this perspective. They fall into this, you know, this whole thing. You see some people and they be like, ah, no, that, eh, it's because you are talking, it's because, you know, we don't have money. We don't have money to eat. Is it the money we want to use to eat? We want to give a dental, whatever. When the problem starts, you will not remember food. Because you will not be able to eat, yeah? You will not be able to chew anything. You know, the funny thing is when you have a hole in your teeth, you can't take anything too cold. Yeah. You can't drink tea. Bread. Bread, Nibo. You can't chew bread. Yam. You cannot. And these are the basic foods we have in Nigeria. So tell me if you cannot eat all these things, <laughs> please. So what then is the essence of everything? So I feel this program here today is to enlighten people at home. Please. Brush in the morning, brush at night. And for those of people that don't have a hole in their teeth, cultivate that habit before you have one. Take your child to the, to the bathroom or somewhere, brush for him or her at, in the morning, brush for him or her at night after taking dinner. And you as an adult, do what? Also brush in the morning, brush at night. And there's an adage that goes thus, health is what? Is wealth. When you're fine, to wala la fia lo maranti owo. To ba wala la fia lo maranti pe nu kan mi wa. To je pe igba ti wo gan fun re are gan o te ko wa okay. Are o bale, boya o ri fi follow ni o, boya o la eyin dun eni o, boya nkokon se ti ori e o te ni fe ma fe le daru bai. To igba so fe ranti anybody ni. You cannot. 
So it is best to do what? Take care of your general well-being. Then afterwards, you can do every other thing. But you see some people are, no, don't worry. Uh, don't worry. Uh, I'll be fine. It's just a matter of time. In a while or two, um, let me just take this thing. Uh, let me buy this. Let me buy this herb. They can rag boys. If I rag boys, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, hey, when normally you can do some things on your own. You can do what? You can do them on your own. Do them at home. You're only paying this expert for the knowledge you don't have. And that's why Face TV is bringing it to you at home for free. Come on. Don't you think we deserve a round of applause? Yeah, we do. Okay, so today, that will be the gist on Face TV Africa. And I hope you actually enjoyed today's gist because in one way or the other, it's a very informative discussion and it's a bit of enlightenment on your general well-being. Please. Take good care of yourself, take good care of your skin, take good care of your mouth, take good care of your general body. Buy deodorant, wear them, wear perfumes. Some people cannot walk and <laughs> don't worry, that will be another gist for another day. And this is the gist with Lawal today. like I said earlier. Thank you for staying tuned. You can watch our videos on YouTube, on Twitter, on Instagram, and on Facebook. We are live at Face TV. Africa. So thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. This is your girl say thank you. Ciao, ciao. Peace out. Please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa. Hey, yo, hey, subscribe. Subscribe. Uh, hey, hey. Face TV. Oh,